Hello, my name is Mark McComb, Academic Program Sales Engineer with Microchip Technology. Thank you for viewing this video demonstrating how to install the MATLAB Simulink device block sets for DSPIC digital signal controllers. These device block sets are specific to Microchip DSPIC digital signal controller peripherals and can be used to develop and validate digital signal processing and control designs from concept through code. The device block sets can be downloaded free of charge from Microchip's website and once installed are fully functional, have no timeout, and no size restrictions. During the course of this video, we will demonstrate the following. How to locate the installer for the DSPIC DSC Simulink block sets online, installing the block sets into the MATLAB environment, and finally, we will take some time to briefly walk through the block sets and associated files. So let's begin. First, locating the installer for the MATLAB Simulink device block sets for DSPIC digital signal controllers. To locate the installer online, ensure that your computer is connected to the internet, open a web browser, and navigate to Microchip's MPLAB IDEA homepage at www.microchip.com forward slash MPLAB. On the MPLAB homepage, scroll down until you locate the Downloads section. Here you should see the MATLAB Device Blocks for DSPIC Digital Signal Controllers link. Click on the link to open the MATLAB Device Blocks for MPLAB IDE homepage. When the page opens, scroll down until you locate the Downloads section. Here you'll find a zip file containing the MATLAB Device Blocks. You may be required to sign in. If so, Scroll down the sign-in page to the sign-in area and enter your email and password. Once signed in, you should be returned to the Downloads section for the DSPIC MPLAB block sets. Click on the link. In the zip window, double-click on the .exe file to start the installer and simply follow the prompts. Note that the files necessary to install the block sets will be placed on the C drive in your program files under microchip backslash MPLAB IDE backslash tools in the MATLAB folder. At this point, all files needed to install the DSPIC block sets are installed on your computer. You can now close all windows, including the web browser, and proceed to the next steps. Next, installing the DSPIC block sets into MATLAB. Now that the required files are on your PC, let's now install the DSPIC block sets. Open the MATLAB environment. Once open, change the current folder to the location in which the installer loaded the necessary installation files, shown here. In the MATLAB folder, locate the install underscore dspic underscore matlab.p file, right-click on the file, and select Run File. Note that double-clicking the file will not work. To select the installation directory, simply click in the command window and press any key. Here, I have selected the same folder that was generated by the installer as the installation directory as shown here. Now, simply follow the prompts in the MATLAB command window.
At this point, the DSPIC block sets are now installed and ready to use. Let's now take a look at an overview of the DSPIC block sets. First, open Simulink in the MATLAB environment. Scrolling through the Simulink library pane, note that the DSPIC block sets are now included. Expand the heading to view the various block set libraries. The block set libraries are divided into three categories. The first library, DSPIC configuration blocks, are used to configure or initialize parts of the application, such as configuring your UART or timer peripherals to behave a certain way. The next group of blocks is the DSPIC runtime library. These are blocks that will be used as the runtime part of your application. How the application will receive input, process, or output data will be determined through the use of these blocks. Finally, a number of digital motor control algorithms have been provided in the DSPIC 33F DMC algos library. This library contains such blocks as transforms and more. These blocks are specifically designed to help in the development of motor control applications. Close Simulink and return to the main MATLAB workspace. At this point, let's identify other files that you may find helpful to get up and running with the block sets. Under the DSPIC MATLAB folder, expanding the Demo Models folder reveals a number of ready-made models specific to the Explorer 16 development board. Models on a number of peripheral applications have been included along with some models based off of popular microchip motor control application notes. Double-click on a model to open it. Note that a functional description has been included in each model. These models provide the user with a reference to facilitate the development of original applications. In the Doc folder under DSPIC MATLAB, Help files for each block have been provided. These help files can also be accessed with each block's properties windows by selecting Help. Also note the inclusion of the MATLAB Simulink device block sets for DSPIC DSC's User's Guide, a great place to start if you are new to these block sets. Finally, note the remove underscore DSPIC underscore matlab.m file under the DSPIC MATLAB folder. This file should be executed when removing the block sets from MATLAB. Removing the block sets is highly recommended when installing updated revisions of the block sets. This concludes our video on installing the MATLAB Simulink device block sets for DSPIC DSCs. In subsequent videos, we will build a simple application, import it into the MPLAB IDE, and then run it on the Explorer 16 development board. We will also look at generating code in MPLAB IDE and importing it to be used within a Simulink model. My name is Mark McComb and I thank you for viewing this video.